Okay, guys, I literally just screamed when I opened Canva because Canva Docs is here. Okay, give me a few minutes to test this out and see what it's all about. I'm excited. Are you excited? We're all excited. Yes, Canva Docs. Okay, guys. Canva has been teasing us for quite a while about docs and it's finally here, yay! So, let's talk a little bit about what it means. Well, first you open up your dashboard and you'll see the docs icon right here. You click it and open it. So, before we get started, just to spend a couple of minutes in talking to you about what this is. It's more of a word processor. So if you think about Microsoft Word, uh, Google Docs, Apple Pages, this is what this is supposed to compete with. So let's get started right here. You see the key to everything is the almighty plus sign. Now if you'll notice when you click this icon, it opens up here. It does not give you the option to choose the size in the beginning but we'll talk about when you can choose the size that you want for the document. There are some limitations, so just hang tight. But let's talk about the almighty plus sign. It is the key to everything, to everything that you're gonna need to know. So let's go ahead and click the plus sign so you can see some of the options here. And then we'll talk through most of these, not all of them, all right? So let's just start with heading one, the H1, which is heading one. And I'm gonna put, All right, and then let's just say I want to make the second one a subheading. Now, these are already set up for me in my brand kit for Canva Pro. I want to go ahead and choose the subheading and right. And then the body text. Again, these are already set up in my Canva Pro brand kit. Okay, so we can use that. Now, if you'll notice up here at the top, it is the menu we used to have. We usually have a lot more options. The options here are a little more limited, but we can still control the letter and line spacing, like what you see here. Okay, and what I like about this is every time you hit enter, you should know this. Now, this add magic, listen, we're going to talk about that in a little bit because that's the best feature. I'm going to talk about that after I go through the main features. Now let's look at adding a design. Now this is the tricky part. When you click design, it's going to go into the actual um, design graphic editor portion of Canva, of the Canva's interface. And so it takes a few minutes for this to come up. Come up. Now I'm assuming that over time Canva is going to improve the speed of this transition. Um, they generally tend to improve that over time. Now you can go through uh, here and look at some of these templates um, and click. Now here's the, the trick. This banner size is the only size image that you can import right now. And it's that 2000 by 600. So they have some ready to go templates, right? But I can also go into projects and choose one of my own. Okay, but I'm going to show you why it, it's still going to make it that size. You know, you can edit it, you can make changes to it, but it's going to initially drop it in at that size. Now, if you're dropping in an actual, let's delete this, let's go back and undo some of this. Um, if you're actually dropping in a, a graphic, it's going to be the size of the image. And so let's just look at images. Okay, I'm going to just drop in this one. It's going to just drop it in at specific sizes. So just notice that no matter what you do, the image that you, the size that you can use is only going to not, can't be any bigger than the banner. And so you'll just be limited with whatever the banner size is. All right, so keep that in mind. I'm going to drop this in. It's 
going to look a little weird. Just bear with me here. Okay. And you can click save. Or you can X out if you've decided not to use it. So I'm going to click save. And then it's going to go and drop that in. <clears throat> so that's how you drop in um, an existing design. But again, you may have to edit and play around with it a little bit. Right. The other thing that I like is that you can embed. And I like the embed because you can actually embed a link there. Let's just grab a video link. Hold on a second. Okay, I grabbed a link from one of my YouTube videos. I'm just going to paste it, hit enter, and then it should populate here. Now you'll see this link is just basically telling you um, that this there that it's going to link to something. So now that's here. That's the preview. That's how it shows up for the YouTube video. Really interesting. Okay, and then let's look at some other... Characters here. Now I'm sure I'm, I'm anxious to see when I export this if this will be a clickable link. I'm gonna assume it would be, but we'll see. So we are accustomed to seeing tables, bullets, numbered, but here's something that's new that I love, which is also a checklist. I remember we can go ahead and adjust the height and width between lines and letters. So we're going to do that. So the checklist is a really, really great addition. All right. And let's see if there's anything else. Now charts, all of these are native charts, bar charts, line charts, things within Canva. Um, let's look at the timer. I, I didn't really understand what we could do with the timer. Um, I don't quite know that yet. I have to research that. Uh, but you can actually change the timer here. So the timer works. Right. And let's go back to our almighty plus sign. And of course, you can add in any of the logos that you've already added to your brand kit. Again, that's a Canva Pro, Pro feature. Right, so here are some of the logos that I've got. So I'll just click that logo and it drops it in the center. You do not have the option to uh, move, push this right, left. It's going to stay right there in the center no matter what you do. The other thing that you're going to notice is that this is a run on document. So it just keeps going and keeps going. You keep adding and you keep adding. Um, and when you go through the export, that's when it breaks it up into pages. Now, my favorite feature, and this is what we've got, we've been waiting for. My most favorite feature, okay, is there anything else I want to go through? I think everything else is kind of self-explanatory, is the magic right. Now, this magic right is an AI feature, okay, artificial intelligence feature. So, it's going to help you write content. So let's just say this was a blog post and I decided that I wanted to write 10 reasons to use Canva Pro. Okay. I type my topic and hit enter. And it does a little dance. And while it's doing the dance, just know that it's going to come back with writing prompts. So it won't write out full paragraphs. It'll give you the 10 reasons like it just did here. Now, if you want to go through and flesh out more of this, this is great. It's great when you have writer's block. It's uh, great when you're not sure exactly how to formulate certain statements. It actually helps you write. This is a little, a great cheat for people who are content creators, people who struggle with writing, people who are looking for the right words or right phrases or uh, some exciting stuff to do. Now, let's take a moment and let's look at this convert right here. Okay, you can convert to presentation, which I'm not going to do. I want to get share, right? And here's where we go to download. And here's where you get into the sizes. Now, we only have the standard right now, which is for digital, right, for reading. So you can't really, it's probably not going to be a great quality for print. 
and then you can choose the A4, A3 letter in legal. That's all you have. And once you actually choose that, you can click download. And then I'm going to open this in just a second, give it a few minutes to download. And then I want to see um, if this is going to be, um, if that video is going to be clickable. Really interested in seeing that. I'm going to save this to my desktop, click save. I did not even retitle that. Okay, I'm going to double click it here because it downloaded. <clears throat> okay, and doesn't look like it's clickable from here, but I'm going to look at it from inside. This is the browser, right? I'm going to look at it from inside uh, Adobe PDF. Okay, so I tried it in Adobe PDF and um, doesn't really look like it's clickable here either. Okay, so okay, that's a dud. So let's talk about the things that I actually feel like Canva should include. And I'm just going to make a list <laughs> of the things that I feel like should be included. I'm going to erase this, right? In fact, I'm just going to clear the entire document and tell you what I think. First thing I think that we need is we need columns, right? I mean, I would love the ability to create columns here where we can do like, uh, we can separate, do column separation, um, <clears throat> column breaks, things like that. I would love to see something up here where we could do one, two, or three columns. So that's the first thing that I would recommend. Second thing that I'm going to recommend is that I wish we could do headers and footers. That's the recommendation I have. All right, and page numbers. That would be awesome if we could do page numbers instead of copying each page, which because it's a run-on page, we don't even get that. So page numbers, uh, separate pages. Okay, I didn't spell that properly. Thank you, Grammarly. Okay. And um, I definitely want to be able to control the doc size. That's how we're going to get to the page numbers, right? So these are some of the features that I would like to see with Canva. Again, um, I would like to see columns, like where we can actually set up text and then click the box and determine whether it's turned into one, two, or three columns. I would like to see headers and footers so we can repeat information at the top or bottom of the document. I'd like to be able to separate the pages so that we can create page numbers. And I'd like a little bit more control over the doc size. All right, so that's my review. So uh, let me know what you think and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.